Companies in all industries struggle to hire and keep employees. The country's armed forces are not immune to this trend. Yeah, recruitment numbers are dropping nationwide in several branches of the military, and that's why we want to bring in Nine on Your Side's Brooke Chow, joining us to talk about what recruiting looks like here and why recruiters are having so much trouble getting people to enlist. Brooke? Yeah, good morning, Jose and Claire. Living in a very active military region, hearing that recruitment numbers are down may be a surprise, but it's also important for me to note that some branches of the service are doing better than others right now in terms of numbers. But first, I want to show you what it's looking like on a nationwide scale. Now, the Army missed its recruiting mission for fiscal year 2022 by 25%. That translates to 15,000 soldiers. Plus, more branches are expecting recruiting shortfalls for this fiscal year, which ends on September 30th. On your screen, you could see I sat down with the Navy recruiter who covers our region, New Mexico, and even some parts of Texas about why numbers are trending down here at home. It's a challenging environment now. It's not just for the military, it's for civilian side as well. It's just very hard to get qualified uh, applicants through the system because we have more restrictions when it comes to medical requirements, physical requirements. Now, those requirements that Jason's talking about shifted during the pandemic as military recruiting became more difficult. Now, they rely on crowded events like career fairs and face-to-face -face interactions. The tight labor market has also forced many companies to increase wages and offer more incentives to attract the best talent, resulting in recruiters struggling to meet quota. But members of the military say retention can be salvaged by making military life better, like offering more money, better benefits, and also improved family housing and child care conditions. And these are areas Areas the Department of Defense is exploring, but it is normal for recruiting numbers to be a little bit slower in the summertime, but most branches nationwide are hoping to see that influx of people enlisting in the service before the end of this fiscal year, which is in September. For now, in the studio, I'm Brooke Chow. KGUN 9, on your side.